My name is Chirag Patel. I'm from London and I'm studying a PhD in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. So I did chemistry at undergrad because um, I've always been interested in the way things work, like on a molecular scale. And um, during my course, I did um, a year in industry. And um, I also really enjoyed the research component. I've also wanted to work on green technologies, uh, like in the research or engineering. And so I thought a PhD would be a great step forward. So Sheffield has um, a fantastic engineering department uh, with a lot of great facilities. Um, so the engineering department's all uh, kind of really interconnected. Um, I liked the, um, the look of a lot of the research going on here. I really like the fact that Sheffield is um, a nice kind of friendly city. Like people here are, are very easy to talk to um, and to mingle with. Um, it's small, but not uh, small enough to feel claustrophobic. Um, there's lots of green spaces around. I mean, we're, we're really close to the peaks. So it's easy to just like get on a bus and then go like go walking, etc. I like the fact that I'm working on something um, cutting edge and novel, exploring things which um, just haven't been explored before. And I could be one of the few people who knows something about um, a particular topic and the opportunity to become an expert in my field. My supervisor is really supportive and friendly. We meet on a uh, weekly basis and um, we're always discussing um, ideas on, on where the research should go. And um, she's very good at giving like um, a lot of good guidance, a lot of good tips. And I found working with her to be really engaging. So I'm working on uh, batteries for um, electric vehicles, specifically the cathode. So in a battery, you have um, the anode and the cathode. And the cathode is where a lot of research needs to be done because cathode materials are more um, chemically complex, um, kind of more expensive to produce, etc. When a cathode is produced, typically in industry, they use a solvent called NMP, which is really expensive, it's toxic and bad for the environment. So I'm working on aqueous processing, which involves in place, uh, replacing the, uh, the NMP with water, and that can deliver all sorts of benefits. I find um, the engineering department has got some wonderful facilities. Like there's, there's a lot of kind of new kind of cutting edge um, techniques, for instance, uh, scanning electron microscopes, electrochemical cycling, etc. My highlight um, since beginning my PhD has been presenting a talk on uh, science communication uh, related to um, uh, my research at uh, an early careers conference. It was great to be able to talk about a bit of what I do, not just um, the science, but also communicating it. It was also wonderful to engage with um, a lot of other early career researchers in my field and learn about what they do and how they're finding the whole process. I'm involved in, um, in rock climbing. I'm a member of the um, Sheffield University Mountaineering Club. I do like bouldering a bit of rope climbing. I'm also a member of the Swing Dance Society, which I joined this year, and that's been really good. Something I've never done before. The advice I'd have for any prospective PhD students uh, looking to come to Sheffield uh, would be to get a good feel for the city, make sure it's somewhere you'd be, uh, be happy living for three or four years, which personally I think it is. I'd get a good feel for um, the department, uh, your prospective supervisor, Talk to them beforehand and try and determine whether you'd be a good fit for your group. So don't go into it blindly. Make sure a PhD is something you really want to do and something you have um, the passion and the motivation for.